Hey everybody, Mac and Damer here for OCR Kings, and tonight we're talking about how to handle a Spartan Z-Wall. Now, our rig here is configured from an authentic Spartan race, specifically the Spartan Ultra Beast. So I took a still grab from that race, figured out where the handholds go in relation to the measurements that we had, specifically Damer's arms and legs. So these handholds and footholds are identical to ones that we actually encountered at a Spartan race. Now you may notice that our Spartan Z wall here isn't a perfect Z. The Spartan series, they've got three panels. They've got one that goes typically north, and one that goes east, if you will, and then it goes north again. That's the easiest way to describe it. Our wall is really an L. However, we have an extra panel, which makes it a little bit harder. Or you get to practice a little bit more, whatever you want to say. Ding. All right, so Mac and I both like to transition going left to right. It just seems to be a natural progression for us. But everyone isn't the way, and that kind of works because the way the Z-walls are, you can go on both sides. So if you like transitioning right to left, by all means, go for it. I mean, if you just walked up to the wall and what feels more comfortable, reaching with your right and following or going the opposite direction and reaching so make sure you pick the right direction that you're comfortable with. For the approach, Damer and I do it the same way. We go backhand, back foot, lead hand, lead foot. Backhand, back foot, lead hand, lead foot. Let's see it again. Backhand, back foot, lead hand, lead foot. Backhand, back foot, lead hand, lead foot. Hand, then a foot, then a hand, then a foot. And then I transfer hand to hand, reach out, and then foot to foot. Hand to hand, reach out, to foot to foot. Going around the corner, that's the hardest part. You gotta reach around, grab your hand first. Transfer your feet, and then guess what? Hand to hand, reach out, foot to foot, hand to hand, reach out, foot to foot, hand to hand, reach out, foot to foot, hand to hand. Hand to hand, reach out, foot to foot, hand. To hand. Reach out, foot to foot. It's a little like hot move. Again. I think we kind of in that sideways. I mean with your junk to the deck here. I think we do the same kind of hippity hop. Ish. <sighs> All right, so as you're moving, going from hand to hand and moving across the handholds, you can do different things with your feet. And sometimes I catch myself having both toes aimed towards the next target. Sometimes I'll have opposite. And then sometimes I've caught myself, I don't think I even know I do it is doing a crossover move and any one of those work the crossover move seems to be a little bit quicker if you're trying to get through this super fast
but it does pull your hips further away from the wall. Ding! And pretty much this is the hardest part, coming around the corner. Just gotta take a pause. Take your time, feel for it. You can't really see it. Feel. And I would say, would you agree, go for the hand first? Yeah, definitely. Okay, and then transition, get one foot on the side that you're leaving, and then reach out with your advancing foot. It's like, now the hip trick may help if you want to take a quick look to like lean out, but it's not necessary, you know it's there. I would definitely reach out with the hand first, feel where that is, and plant your foot that's gonna stay on the wall that you've just come from, and then reach out with your next foot. So in the advancing around the corner, hand first, then the foot. And I think it really helps when you're trying to transition around a corner. When your hips are in close, you can lean out and take a quick peek on those blind turns. The inside turn is always easier. You can even cut a little, even take a break if you had to. So here's another tip. Right? Be polite. Give the person in front of you a whole lot of leeway because you don't want to be stuck behind them while they're taking their time trying to let their forearms recover and you're sitting there and your arms are getting smoked. Give them a whole lot of lead time. Uh, all right, let's all right, all right. <laughs> See, now if you wait, you wouldn't have that problem. You wouldn't have that problem. Now my feet are starting to hurt, standing on these. A few more quick tips, okay, other than most importantly, I think, pick which way you like to go. Do you like to lead right or do you like to lead left? Some other things to look for too. If you can, pick a dry one. If you come to a wall, they're going to have a whole slew of these things set up in stalls. If you can find one that's less cruddy, less muddy, less filthy, less dirty, it's going to be a lot easier on the handholds. Another one too, try to pick terrain that's straight up and down. Sometimes these things have a lean backwards. That's harder, because it's going to pull you away from the wall. Just like Damer said, better to keep your hips closer to the surface. The last thing, really that would help outside of building your own, which we did, work on your grip strength. Climb those ropes. Use your hand grips. Right? If you have access to a climbing wall, a pegboard, okay, really work on your grip strength, because that's going to help you a whole lot with this obstacle. That's how you nail the Z-Wall. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Mac and Damer for OCR Kings. And as always, remember, train hard, have fun. <laughs>